Hi, I just decided to have a quick live to share something with you. Today I had an off day, a day when my body was telling me to rest, not to work, not to try to do anything because it wouldn't work anyway. And I used to ignore this, especially because I'm launching a program from the 1st of uh, March <coughs> and um, it's a program for entrepreneurs, hence the name Entrepreneurship 2020. And normally I would be like really focused on okay, I need to promote it, I need to contact people, I need to do this, I need to do that. But I just, my body was telling me, like, no, you worked hard on preparing everything and now you need a timeout. And so I listened to it. And the beauty of that is that now I feel like doing this live. Otherwise, I would have been focused on doing other things which probably wouldn't have worked. And the purpose of this live is not per se to promote the program, <clears throat> but to help you understand something what I feel is really important. We become entrepreneurs for many different reasons. One of the most popular ones is freedom. Yet, a lot of entrepreneurs don't feel free once they become an entrepreneur. They actually become imprisoned of the fear of generating money. Actually, the fear of not generating enough, but let's call it the fear of money. Fear of lack of money. And um, my experience is that when I really listen to my body, then I know exactly when to do and what to do. And the beautiful example is that I published um, some time ago a whole bunch of pages on my website about uh, new age children. And there was something I just felt one morning like I have to finish this. I had been preparing it a year before, it had been dormant because it was a piece I couldn't finalize and then that day I just felt it. Now you're going to do it. And so I found what, what was lacking. I could finish it, I published it and people really came from all corners of the world thanking me. And so it was a success. Every time I didn't listen to my body, my business would do this. Every time I did listen, my business started to do this. And so, I would encourage you to listen more to your body. Your body is not just telling you like work, rest, it's telling you a lot of things. It's telling you if you're in the right place, if you're surrounded with the right people. It's telling you to make that choice. It's telling you which way to go. Or not to do anything maybe and that's one thing that as an entrepreneur we can actually do there are exceptions of companies where as an employee you get to have the freedom to listen to your body and do what you feel but they're really rare maybe it's just one company only i don't know google everyone knows about google in this playgrounds. But the nice thing is that this is also linked to some studies that are done, which is that when people work less hours per week, they're more productive. When they work one day less per week, they're even more productive. And there are some entrepreneurs who own one or multiple companies who only work a few hours per day. But in those few hours, they're so productive because they're so focused that their businesses are thriving. And the trap as an entrepreneur that we fall in is that we 
take what we've learned from the corporate world, take what we've learned from society, and try to apply it in our entrepreneurial life. Which is like, you need to spend at least eight hours per day working. Five times a day. Maybe even six times a day. Maybe seven times a day, uh, a week, I mean. And so what you see is that entrepreneurs generally become slaves to work. They start to lose energy. So you see them actually weakening. And that's when they're not productive. That's when they do not succeed because would you like to do business with somebody who's like, mm, like this? Or with somebody who's energized, who's happy, who's smiling, who's joyful, and who clearly radiates that he's successful. And there are a lot of things connected to this. And it's not just that people are not listening to their bodies, but it starts there. So I encourage you to really listen to your body and start from there. And if you're an entrepreneur already, or you think about becoming an entrepreneur, then have a look at the link in the description. Because I created this program, not for a quick course that you watch a few videos and then you're su suddenly successful. No, it's a program that is gonna last for nine months, where you do practice a lot, where you interact with others, where you brainstorm, where there are many activities, including watching some videos as well, that will actually help you to integrate, to learn, to practice, and to really integrate the new way of entrepreneurship. Because times have changed, the world is changing, and so entrepreneurship needs to change too. Actually, entrepreneurship is part of the change. It's even partially responsible for the changes that we're seeing around us. So, trying to duplicate what you used to do in the corporate world won't work anymore. Trying to duplicate what other entrepreneurs have been doing in the past 20 years won't work anymore. A lot of things will not work anymore. They may work partially, but they won't fully work. And in this program, this course, you could call it, I will be guiding you to discover your true strength and what works best for you to succeed and for your business to do this. And not just your business to do this, but also your life to do this. To start riding the wave of your life. And you know, when you feel good, then it's reflected in your business. So it's all connected and it's also one part of the big changes that the way you feel the way you are on the inside not the mask you're wearing will influence in a major way your business so this resonates with you this puts you to think if you have questions if you like oh yeah but i i want this i click the link you can find more information there. I will be adding some information actually, because what I'm saying in this video, I actually I didn't write down there. It's also not in the videos I uploaded there. So I will be adding some stuff, but I failed to do this live. And maybe I'll just copy paste this live on my website, I don't know. If you have questions, then do ask them, contact me.